Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to interface with a 4 digit 7 segment LED display. We will enter any number from 0 to 9999 and it will get light up on the 4 digit 7 segment LED display. Well, a 4 digit 7 segment LED display has 12 pins. 8 of the pins are for the 8 LED segments on each of the 7 segment displays which include A to G and DP. A 1 segment pin controls the same segment on all of the digits. They also have common pins for each digit that is the digit pins. You can turn a digit on or off by switching the digit pin. The digit pins D1, D2, D3 and D4 need to be connected to current limiting resistors since they are common terminals of the digit. Devices like washing machines, microwave, ovens, clocks etc. still use 7 segment displays for displaying information like quantity and time. The main reason for this is its simplest interface and low cost. In order to display digits from 0 to 9 on the 7 segment display, you need to activate certain segments for each digit and corresponding pin, corresponding digit pin. Here, the table indicates the list of segments you need to turn high in order to display a particular digit. For example, for 0 to be illuminated on the D1, we have to apply low to G and high to the A, B, C, D, E, F and make the D1 low and remaining digit pins high. Now let's look at the connection of the circuit. Here I connected my D4. This is the D4 pin to the pin 3 of Arduino Uno via 220 ohm resistor. Then D3 pin, this is the D3 pin, is connected to pin 4 via 220 ohm resistor and similarly my D2, this is D2 pin and D1 pin is connected to 5 and 6 of Arduino Uno. Then I connected segment A, segment A to pin 13, segment B, this is the segment B to pin 7. Segment C to pin 8. Segment D, this is the segment D to pin 10. Segment E to pin 11. Segment F, this is the segment F to pin 12. And segment G, this is the segment G to pin 8 of Arduino Uno. Now let's understand the code. Here I define an integer array seg pin of size 7. Uh, the segment A is connected to the pin number th 13, B segment is connected to pin number 7 and so on. Uh, this is D pin array of, uh, of type n. Uh, here the digit um, 4 of, seven, of 4 digit 7 segment display is connected to the third pin d3 is connected to 4 and so on this is the um, two dimensional array which i created from the truth table in earlier uh, this is a variable called timer this is this setup function here uh, i fixed the baud rate as 9600 uh, i created a for loop in which the segment pins are set as an output mode and similarly, pin mode of uh, digit pin are also set as an output mode. This is the loop function uh, and this will get printed on my serial monitor and my serial monitor will wait for our input and the input will be stored in the variable num and it will get again printed on my serial monitor. The once place of the number will get stored into the variable D0. The tens place of the number will get 
stored in D1. The hundredth place of the number gets stored in D2, and the thousandth place of the number will get stored in D3. Here I created a for loop, and inside this for loop, the d pin zero will be low. D pin zero means the uh, d four of four digit seven segment display, and the remaining digits will be will be high. Here I created a for loop, and this for loop will illuminate the uh, thousands place digit of uh, seven segment display, and there will be a delay of five second. Here the D pin one will be low, and remaining pins and remaining digit pins high, and this uh, this for loop will illuminate the hundred place digit of my four digit seven segment display, and again there will be a delay of five second. Then here the D pin two will be low, and remaining digit pin will be high, and here. The uh, tens place digit will be illuminated, and there will be a delay of five seconds. Then my D pin three will low, and this for loop will illuminate the ones place digit of segment, and again there will be a delay of five seconds. Then this for loop will end here, and uh, this. This for loop will turn off all these digits of my four-digit seven-segment display, and then again the loop function will run, and it will again wait for us to enter number. Now let me plot the code on Arduino Uno. It may take some time. Let's open the serial monitor. And let me enter a four-digit number, three four zero seven. Here you go. You can see a four-digit number. Let's enter a three-digit number. You can see four five zero. Now let's enter a two-digit number, seventeen. Now let's enter a single-digit number, five. Here you can see on my screen. This is all for this project. Thank you.